So this video today is about two different power banks. Um, one of them is the Aki and the other is the Mi power bank. Now they're both really good I'd say. I like them. Um, overall I must say I do like one of them over the other and I'll explain why in a second. Now if you look at the Aki we got the logo on this side, we got some information on this side, we got all your little info on this side, how much it's charged, you got your USB port, and you got your mini USB port which is for charging the power bank itself. It's a good little device. And as you can see here, it does have Quick Charge 2.0, which I'm sure you can tell is a great bonus. Now the Mi power bank is the same claims to have the same capacity 1040 or 10,400 milliamps on both so if you look the size comparison I don't know Hard to believe that this Mi charger actually has that much, but design difference, maybe there's more going on in the Aki for the fast charging, internal components besides the batteries. The Mi charger, you have your little power button there for your info. You have your USB, your micro USB for powering it, charging the power bank itself. It's got the website on it and everything. And yeah, so, now that we go back to this lovely Galaxy S6, you can see that it's not charging at the moment, but what I wanted to demonstrate is the charging capacity of both these devices. So we're going to start with the Mi. I'm going to plug the phone in. Currently not plugged in, it's using that much 640 milliamps, 690 milliamps from the phone, 740, just sitting there doing not much. And plug this in, give it a second. As you can see, the Mi power bank is fully charged. And we're going to see what it's capable of in just a moment. So it's charging at 170, drop down to 140. It's going down pretty low. Should increase. Eighty milliamps, ninety milliamps. So on the S six, no. Oh. This Mi charger, this power bank, eh, I'd say it's not as consistent as it should be. It's given a max reading of 170 there, you can see on the right. And 50 milliamps currently. So we're going to switch over to the Aki power bank. which has quick charge, don't forget, built right into it. Plug it in. Turn it on. Let's see what happens. Seven hundred milliamps. Seven eighty. 860 just rising rising and consistency this is why I like the Aki because I could be doing stuff on the phone using up the batteries I could have the GPS going in the car plugged into the Aki and I'm still charging the device not just keeping it going but actually charging it and watching the percentage go up and for proof of fast charge from the Aki, you can see right there, fast charge going. 
be good. Showing a max of 1020. So, I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to plug this back into the, the Mi Power Bank. Now, I want to be fair. I want to see if maybe something went on there. Maybe there was a reason why it didn't get such a good reading. But it doesn't have quick charge. So the Mi Power Bank just doesn't cut it for me. The Aki, definitely. Purchase it. I'll throw up some download links. Or not download links, sorry. I'll put some links up so you guys can purchase it. Make your own decision. But based on my tests here, I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in to the Aki. Yes, it does turn on. It recognizes by itself. You don't have to power it on every time. Give it a quick second. Measuring, measuring. Straight. That's what you want from your power bank. I hope you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. More to come. Take care.